I suppose, um, you know, seeing people affected by that actually um, is very painful to me, you know, and, uh, and uh, knowing that there uh, is a, a major scourge of malaria and dengue throughout the world and that 3.3 billion people are at any one time at risk. This is half the world's population. But further than that, there are 250 million who suffer from malaria and dengue every year. And then of this, we have one million deaths. I think that is appalling, considering that the, we say the 21st century is a century where uh, you get all sorts of medication, yet these people are dying. And just the economic impact on their countries, their livelihood, on their families is, is, is just, uh, you know, uh, most unfortunate. So I'm thinking of uh, using my foundation, which currently is called Yaya Santukunakudin, which I will convert into a more global form called YTN Global Foundation. So, uh, so in the sense of the global foundation, uh, we'll go into some of these countries with certain communities that will give away this product, this larvicide, uh, uh, for free. Our partner in the Philippines is uh, gonna, gonna, gonna launch this uh, in, in a big way and we're gonna call the project Counter-Strike Lamok. And uh, for me it's a very fine name because Lamok uh, is, is a Tagalog word for Nyamok which is the same for mosquito in, in, in Malay, the Malay language. And uh, so it, it's something, a, a tagline which is easy to say and easy to remember. So I, I, I would uh, totally support Counter-Strike Lama. The experiments that we've had in Malaysia, in Ghana, the trials that we've had uh, have been extremely successful. Uh, I'll give you an example in a place in, uh, called Gomba in Malaysia where for 10 years they had uh, reported dengue cases every week. Um, we just had one uh, trial application of this product in Gomba and for the next five months there were no dengue cases. So, and, and in Ghana also, um, I think there are 30,000 um, sort of, uh, people living in this area and uh, we applied it once um, and we're going into a second application uh, currently. Um, at any one time, they were having 3,000 people in the hospital. Uh, lately, uh, this has dwindled down to only 400. But of course, a project like this can only be sustainable if it is supported. So in that sense, it's got to be supported by the uh, community, by the local government, by the government itself, by the authorities, uh, where there's uh, regulations and so on. But finally, uh, it is uh, because we're talking of a whole community, a whole country, and uh, we're looking global, it would need funding. And this is where my, my foundation will engage uh, a whole series of uh, NGOs, uh, not just in, in Philippines, but also uh, overseas. We are already in touch uh, with several. Um, I, I was in Hong Kong uh, recently and uh, I, I met up with uh, some of the NGOs there. But you see, a lot of the NGOs who are into the mosquito management program are at the downstream end, which is when the mosquitoes are flying, or they're trying to find some vaccine for malaria, or they're giving out mosquito nets. We are at the upstream side. We are killing the larvae in the water before they can become 500 mosquitoes. You know, so, so that's where we are. And I think it's a very meaningful one, and, and I really hope that we can get as much cooperation as possible so we can be sustainable. Well, it's been a long time that we've allowed these killer mosquitoes to attack our community our families, our loved ones. I know that you'd agree with me that this must stop now. Let's end this. Let's counter-strike Lamok.